Hello everyone, welcome back. Today in this video I'm going to review this Veneer C 3-in-1 oscilloscope signal generator and component tester. I was looking for a portable signal generator and I saw this 3-in-1 which has also oscilloscope and I said why not and considering its price which is I think it was around $40 in uh, on AliExpress it was a good deal so it, I ordered it and it came in a secure packaging as you can see and I opened it and read the user manual to learn something about this but to tell the truth uh, everything is simple and self-explanatory but it's always a good idea to read the user manual to know the limits. So let's see. Here we have a oscilloscope probe with this MCX uh, jack, and these three probes that you can use it with these uh, component tester. And finally, the oscilloscope and generator itself. Again, nice packaging. So what we have here is a 2.4 TFT screen. And it has a kickstand here. It has a reset button right there uh, and it charges with USB it has uh, I think yeah so 1500 milliamp lithium battery let's turn this on the menu system is very simple it has four sections uh, M tester oscilloscope, generator, and tools. So let's start with this M tester. I'm gonna put it here. You just lift this lever and put your components over there. So simplest one could be an LED. So yeah, it shows that it is a diode. Okay, that works. Let's see what else we can try. We can use this. It is testing, I think capacitor takes longer than the other components because of the charge and discharge so yeah it shows that it is 43 around 43 microfarad which is good, not bad let's see another thing that we can test is obviously these uh, transistors to see if they are NPN or PNP Yeah, it shows the this one is PNP. That's good. You can also check a resistor. Let's see. Okay, that works. Another thing that you can do, you can just plug these here. one and two and just plug everything or connect anything to these probes just like that and yeah there it is it shows the same thing 
Okay. I think we're good with this. Let's go back and remove these. Let's go to uh, oscilloscope. So I'm going to connect the oscilloscope probe to this VSO socket. So just like that. I'm going to connect my signal generator to oscilloscope. Just like that. Mm, there it is. It shows the VMAX and the frequency. I'm gonna increase the frequency. Let's see. And I'm gonna increase and decrease the amplitude. It works. Let's go back and go to generator. This one has five waveforms and another DC, which you can control, I think. Uh, up to 3.3 volts so let's remove this and put it here for generator and for that we can use a simple LED to see what's going on So right now the frequency is like 10 Hertz and the amplitude is 3.3 You can go and change this As you can see the LED blinks We also have this square But uh, I like pulse waveform better because you can also change the duty of this so let's change this hertz to 10 hertz or even 1 hertz and then go to duty as you can see right now 10% of the time LED is on we can in decrease the just like that all the way to 50 and 100 percent so it is working we also have the triangle we have the ramp and we also have the DC which you can control and bring it down you can see the amount of the brightness of LED is changing so yeah that's that you can also go to tools and for this um, on off which I think it should be continuity you can use this we can use these probes again just like that and you can also measure the resistance just like that let's put it like this
This one is voltage. It's from 0 to 40. So for that, you're, you're going to connect it to here. supply let's connect this remove these Let's see. As you can see, it's almost the same. 12, 13, 14, whatever. Yeah, it works. Just that. Just remove this. So what else we have here is this. I think is um, temperature sensor, and this one also another temperature and humidity sensor. Another thing that I like about this. Uh, device is this IR decode so if you have a remote control you can see the signal that you are sending by pressing the button so I have this simple remote control as you can see by pushing the buttons you can see the user code and the data code pretty cool I think you don't have to just hold it here you can also do, do it from the distance which is cool okay Another thing that this one we can do by holding down this we can go to settings and we can choose to see the logo of Fenersi at the beginning or no. We can change the language, which is just Chinese and English. Adjust the volume. Just like that change the brightness of the screen the minimum value is 20 which is still visible and default I think is just factory reset and about you can see the name of it and the version DSO TC3 and version is 0 0.3 that makes sense they can definitely improve the menu and the functionality of this and that's it overall this is a very useful and simple to use um, multi-tool I think and considering its price it's a good deal if you are interested to purchase this device the link is in the description thank you for watching God bless you